Hi guys, so uh, as some of you might know, uh, I'm actually running a training regarding Rust security and um, I always get asked uh, what are like the best resources to learn uh, Rust, especially with all the new tools in security that are actually written in Rust, like LibFL, for example. So um, today uh, we're going to discuss about that. So that's the best book I recommend. There is also some other resources that we're going to do, uh, that we're going to discuss right now. So the first one, the Rust programming language book. So that's this one. Uh, I actually have it right there. This one, it's basically a big one. It's just the Bible. Uh, if you want to learn Rust, uh, you should have this one. Um, also, uh, so this one uh, is available on the, the paper version uh, directly on, uh, no, uh, I mean, provided by No Starch and available, of course, on Amazon and whatever um, library. Um, also, something that is really important is that the book is completely available for free on the uh, Rust programming language uh, website. So it's part of the official documentation of Rust. So if you uh, don't want or can afford it, you can definitely just uh, take a look at all the online book and you will get uh, everything. So it's really, really um, easy in terms of content. It's really nice. Uh, I really invite you to, uh, of course, take a look at that. And um, even if you have uh, any issue while uh, writing with some piece, write uh, Rust code, you can definitely take a look at that and, and see some really interesting um chapter uh, over the over the book okay so that's for the uh, rust book this one recently there is the rust for rustacean that actually have been released this one i uh, just bought it i just received it okay and i uh, actually take a quick look at the the content so to be honest um i, I think it's a bit expensive uh, because basically uh, you are paying like $40 just for uh, this size. So it could be uh, a, a bit heavy, uh, maybe better to buy it in, in like uh, the ebook format uh, because there is only yeah, 200 pages. So it's a bit small, but the content is really nice. Uh, it's really for uh, advanced users. Um, it's not for a beginner. Uh, so um, that's why I really invite you to maybe, of course, first take a look at the the official Rust programming book, and after that, this one. If you are, if you have already some uh, good uh, knowledge about that, but yeah, only uh, 280 uh, pages, so that's uh, that's a bit small. After that, we have some other ones. So I don't have uh, all those one in in paper. I actually have this one in ebook and this one in ebook as well, uh, and I don't have this one at all. So for the Rust, uh, the programming Rust fast safe system development, this one, so that's the new version, the second edition. I know that uh, if you uh, if you can afford it, there is the uh, just by writing programming Rust uh, on Google, you should get like maybe I mean on the first pages directly the PDF. So I don't know if it's uh, like a, a legitimate PDF or not like legal, but um, you can uh, have that and it will be the first version. This one is also really nice. Uh, I think it's the, the second best book if you want to learn Rust, basically. And there is especially some really interesting chapter regarding uh, concurrency and so on. So uh, that's why I'm inviting you to take a look at this one. I forgot to uh, mention, uh, I will, um, I also want to discuss about this one. So uh, it's not available in a paper version, it's the Rustonomicon. So it's basically the book dedicated to unsafe Rust. Um, it's really interesting, again, really for advanced, really advanced users that want to play with um, unsafe code and memory management directly uh, without the Rust compiler that will tell you anything that's really complex but definitely it's worth it. I mean, and it's free, of course. The two last book I want to mention, and that's why I'm, I'm gonna make them together, it's the Rust in Action, this one, and the Mastering Rust. So this one could be really interesting, but what I really want to show you that is even better, I think, 
uh, is basically you have the source code and the exercise of both book at the same time directly available uh, on GitHub. So for Rust in Action, you have the code source with all the chapter. And uh, let's take a look at the chapter seven, for example, you can see chapter seven action KV and you have the source code of the stuff. So it seems that, uh, yeah, it looks like it's something that will read some AKV file. I don't know what is it, uh, SRC. And you can directly take a look at the, the implementation and so on. So it could be it could be really interesting. As you can see, you have some piece of example um, how to uh, basically specify uh, if you are targeting Windows, it will look like that. Otherwise, if it's not Windows, um, you specify the usage that will be like that and so on. So as you can see, there is really a bunch of stuff um, without having the book, you can already learn some interesting stuff and uh, take some notes. So that's why I always invite you also take a look at this one. Uh, that's some real life uh, example. And you have the same for the uh, Mastering Rust second edition. And again, um, I don't know, chapter uh, 12. So as, as you can see, you have like Rudy in async and uh, think mode. And if we take a look at the main, as you can see, we have some, some piece of code. So again, really interesting. Always better to, of course, have the book, but at least uh, that could be a, a good solution uh, for you. So um, just keep in mind, if you are starting, um, this one is the best. After that, this one and Rust in Action and Mastering Rust. And if you are more uh, an expert, um, I will invite you to take a look at Rust for Rust Action and the Rust Anomicon. That's for me the, the best book to take a look at. If you're interested about security and fuzzing, um, we don't have uh, really a lot of books uh, available. Um, at least you have the um, Rust fuzzing books, I think, uh, this one the Rust first book that is uh, available, but only with like two examples and uh, not a, a lot of it, but at least that's something. Otherwise, I will uh, invite you to take a look at my introduction to Rust fuzzing uh, free courses, where basically for the moment, I have uh, three videos, um, how to fuzz Rust with uh, cargo fuzz, fuzzing Rust with ong fuzz, and uh, how to write like some better fuzz uh, harnesses uh, and um, how to find more bugs uh, using that. So I hope you appreciate it. Let me know what you would like to see on the next video and please uh, like and subscribe. Bye.